In this problem, we're going to divide these decimals. So the first step is to make sure this number over here is a whole number. So to do that, we're going to move the decimal over one time to the right. Then you take this number and you write it here on the outside and you draw your symbol here. Now, because we move the decimal over one place to the right, we have to do the same thing to this number here. So you do it here as well. And so this becomes 471.2. So if we had moved it over two times, then you move this one over two times, etc. So now you line up the decimal place. So I'm going to put it here. You line them up. And then you start the multiplication. So let's see, or rather the division. <laughs> 152. How many times does it go into 4? It doesn't. How about 47? It doesn't. How about 471? Ha! Ah, I think it will. I think it'll go in 3 times. Yep. 152 times 3. Let's see what that is. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 5 is 15. Then you carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Yep. 456. So it goes in 3 times. So you put the 3 right above the 1. Then you do 3 times 152, which gives you 456. Then you draw a line and you subtract. Let's go to the side here and do the subtraction. 471, 456. Draw a line, subtract. Let's see. 1 minus 6. Okay, 1's not big enough, so we borrow a 1 or borrow a 10. So this becomes a 6. And you add 10 to 1, so you get 11. 11 minus 6 is 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. Here we get 0. So here we get 15. Oh, it's so nice. Look at this. Now we bring down the 2. And we ask the question again. How many times does 152 go into 152? One time. 1 times 152 is 152. You draw the line, subtract, and you get 0. So the answer to our problem is 3.1. Really, really nice problem. I hope this video has been helpful.